Today, we will be discussing the next great point guard, the next field general. Not the greatest score, the greatest point guard in the game as of right now. Let's go. When thinking about the best point guards of all time, the best pure facilitators, passers, quarterbacks of the team, some names will come up. You got Magic Johnson, John Stockton, who really turned Carl Malone into the scoring machine that he was. You get a little bit later, you start looking at people like Steve Nash, who similar to John Stockton, turned Amari Stoudemire also into a scoring machine and just made everybody around him better. And getting a little bit more modern day, you got guys like Chris Paul, AKA the point guy, who regardless of what team he went to, not only facilitated, but would put his teammates on his back and make them better at a level that we've only seen few do. And the most recent to me would probably be Steph Curry, another quarterback, general type of guy but Steph Curry was a little different because he could really work off ball with LeBron Curry Durant all these great players getting older and getting ready to exit the league I was really concerned about not only the state of the NBA and the lack of star power but what about the next generation of point guards who's going to be the next point god and then this happened are we going to get the competitive fervor going in this one we're back to the east versus west as Tyrese Halliburton here comes Giannis to Lillard and Halliburton. It has been quite the path. That one rattles in. Halliburton on a heater right now. Guys who are fighting in the All-Star game and they play in that whole city. Are you kidding me right oh, now? Oh, okay. Are you kidding me right now? It was time for me to start paying attention. The 12th overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft is now in his fifth season. He's averaging 20 points and 11 assists a game with a steal and a half, shooting 50% from the field and almost 40% from three point range. When you factor in the fact that he's six foot five with a six foot seven and a half inch wingspan, the only thing I can think really is generational talent. We are so used to guys coming into the league and either being good the first year or they're a bust. Very rarely do people get five, six, seven, eight years to be become a generational talent. But with Tyrese Halliburton, it really seems like he's found a coaching staff, he's found a home and a safe environment where he can grow and blossom and his confidence is blooming. Here are some of the key things that I take away watching Tyrese Halliburton and why I think he's gonna be so great. When you look at Chris Paul, you look at LeBron James, you look at Steph Curry, you look at all the great playmakers, John Stockton, Magic Johnson, they were distributors first. They set their teammates up, they elevated their teammates. Okay, they made everybody around them better. Next is the ability to score at a high level. You see Chris Paul do this. He can go get a bucket. He can create space. He's not just a slasher. He is absolutely deadly from beyond the perimeter. He's also six foot five with a six foot seven and a half inch wingspan and he loves to defend. With his athleticism, size, and length, he could truly be the best defender outside of maybe a Drew Holiday in the NBA at the point guard position. The last thing I'll say about this kid is this. He has a very high basketball IQ. That's why he can distribute the way that he does. He has a very high motor. He has a lot of energy, and he has a love for the game. When you combine the talent, the athleticism, the size, the stroke, all with effort, dedication to his craft. I mean this when I say this, I could see this kid averaging 30 and 15 one day, and it'll probably be in the next couple of years. Tyrese Halliburton is going to be arguably the best point guard that we've seen in years. And for now, I'm your boy Keegan. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Sports Cinema.